landscape of closed circuit television. It's a handy invention for conducting workplace safety reviews. This footage shows us you need to slow the fuck down when parking your moped at work. Jesus. Everyone is more concerned for the bike rather than the intern with a severed toe. This bloke returns home from the pub to discover an intruder on his veranda. He punches, panics, dodges and weeds. <laughs> the intruder keeps buzzing around his face. They both pause for a minute. The bloke decides oh, to bring his shoe into the sector. fray. He, he unleashes a big swing, misses. Another oh, one done off that connected. Weaving a third swing, bam! That Jesus. fly is out of here. But Aussie man, what is the value of this CCTV footage? Why is well, he punching like a pro boxer, this fella is going to want to review the footage. He can see what he did right, what he did wrong, and keep learning how to KO large annoying blowflies. Is this number four? Is this where he lives now? Mum, why are you driving suspiciously? I'm not. This is how I normally drive. Why are we even here? Yeah, this is the one. Hold on, I'm going to smash the little golf cart guy. No, Jesus, what the shit? Dude. Let's reverse and do it again. Oh, this is Dad's house. Yeah, it is. Oh. Hey, you fucking child support, Derek. Why did you, you bring me to prick. see this? Can we go? Sure, love. Let's do a Fast and Furious spin out what of here. What the Whoa. fuck is Human happening? Is waiting for the security gate to open. Alrighty, all clear. Let's go. Off they go. Okay. Well, nothing too exciting happening there. But what's going on in the distance? In flies an impatient wanker with a Porsche who decides waiting 30 seconds is worse than fucking up the car and the gate. It's pretty satisfying when CCTV captures dumb what ass shit like fuck? this. Here's another debacle with an inanimate security object. I get it. Some days the world feels over surveilled <laughs> with too many rules. Exit only my ass, says this guy. I'm not going to let the government decide where I can and can't exit. I'm not a sheep. Oh, good day, officer. Yeah, I was going to pay. I just, uh, I blame the media. <laughs> and whammy, that's how this guy deals with boom gates. Jesus. He lets them hit the missus in the face. He does a spinny fucking wheelie for no reason. So the missus is bad. like, FFS, you're not Tom Cruise. Valid comment. Oh, come on. After the, pub I, go, after the pub, pub I go, I'm an airport baggage handler going to the pub. I'm gonna drink, I'm gonna drink, fuck, look out! Oh, bloody hell, Tim! Sorry. So dumb. Be on camera? Of course it's on camera, motherfucker. We work at an airport. Elevator CCTV is a very honest and confronting window into human behaviour. Make no mistake, if you're in an elevator, you're on camera, like at the airport. Don't let a false sense of isolation fool you, like it has this little dickhead who thinks it's a funny idea to piss all over the buttons. Good one, dude. Like he's in private and no one's watching him. I suppose Guys, it makes I, sense I, to uh, use an elevator to move a large pane of glass if this is a tall apartment building, which I assume it is. That's a lot of stairs to walk down. So yeah, no, 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 you'd use the elevator. But you might want to do two things differently. One, measure the depth of the elevator versus the length of the glass and two whoever's job it is to keep your finger on the open door button make the sure they fuck? do their fucking job smash ah i reckon that's broken and they've got no one to blame but themselves or maybe they can blame that little dickhead that was pissing on the buttons in so fact i kind of want to blame everything wrong in the world on the little button pissing dickhead guys isn't there no sensors on these things did it i thought, I thought there was like a bunch of sensors What is this? Okay, I'll get, I'll get one more link here. Chat, I, don't, I don't make the intro too long today. Oh, they don't work on glass. What is this? Yeah, chat, I don't want to make don't have an intro. Because it's good. Huh? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm gonna see the, all, all the good uh, Interstellar scenes. I don't want to bore chat with it. Interstellar is a good movie though. Click on this link, dude. Pog. Okay, one, one last link. Imagine having drama over a game. Yikes. Ah, uh, true. Okay. What is that? Singapore. What is this? Sorry, chat. Chat, links are gonna have to go through today. There's so many links, I don't even know how. It's gonna, it's gonna hardly guide through them. 
Stop letting enemy shit DTX. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ban you. Dude, aren't you? Didn't they give you the VIP? Ah, you're on VIP. Peace out. Fucking weep shit, dude. Yeah, you think some weep shit, man? What is your problem? New Zelda gameplay? Wait, when was this? Zelda Breath of the Wild, hard on its development. I'm pretty sure we've really seen this. Is this gonna be like an expansion and not like a f its own game? Oh, it's a spin off. It's a new game. Oh, yeah, it's one of those like warrior. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. Okay, what is this? Right now, you're only floating a few feet above the ground as you travel out of the troposphere and into the stratosphere. And you may notice this line going around. Well, that. Chat, I'm too ADHD I'm too for this. Oh, this is, is kind of cool, actually. The trip has just begun, but you've already flown past the tallest building in the world. The Burj yeah, I'm too ADHD for this. ADHD? The tower in Saudi Arabia, which is already under construction, is set to overtake it, reaching just over 3,200 feet. What if we go higher? Cloud. And if you look up, wait, it bugs it. Falling down around you. At this altitude, the temperature is so cold that what you're actually seeing is sleet and snow. What well, is gonna cool? We're coming up to the height of Mount Everest, the tallest mountain in the world. Its peak is about two thousand feet above See this? what mountaineers call the dead zone, where oxygen is too scarce to breathe. Is wazd. And just a short distance above Everest Peak no. is the cruising altitude of commercial flights. Look around to see an angle of the world you wouldn't normally see sitting in an airplane. This looks flat to me. Cap. It may not feel like it, but you're traveling at over 65 miles an hour, ascending at more than 1,000 feet per minute. This might be because we hit the jet stream, a current of fast moving air cutting through our atmosphere. Yeah, why don't they use meters instead? Yeah, freedom units. Look at the nose. Yeah, the, 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 the nose are wild and out. Go higher, dude. Dono ever loved the stream, by the way. Can I ask you a question? Why do you care about being a role model or whatever do you feel like you need? Because I didn't know the dogs, uh, I recalled it earlier. I, I read the dogs ahead of time because they're backed up enough. Nonetheless, be yourself much this love. This is about the altitude where our cameras died. However, the balloon didn't. It was it my birthday yesterday. I wasn't able to tune in, but I just wanted to say thank you for the great pressure, streams. The you really do help people. I miss it. Things excuse you. So much that the balloon burst. The cameras and equipment fell back down to earth where our seeker team tracked and found it. Everything still intact. I didn't go, don't know. I didn't ignore it. Just a few miles from where we launched. We had a plan to go to the stratosphere to bring seekers like you to a place that you wouldn't otherwise be. Because why would the camera die? I don't to get experience it. Experience the world from a new angle to take you to the edges of the earth. We're saying cold, but dude, if, if they have if they have the money to put a balloon at that high up and, and a camera, and they did want, want to put a casing that heats inside.